I want to say thank you to all of you for allowing me to share this special moment with you. I am Rabbi Joseph Potasnik. Know that you who fight for freedom are not fighting alone. We, a free people, stand with you. It is said that those who turn their backs never see tears. We will never turn our backs on you. We stand with you. We who value democracy want you to have democracy. We who value liberty want you to have liberty. And we who enjoy free speech want you to enjoy free speech. Together with your friends in this country, we sent letters, we made phone calls to make sure that members of the House of Representatives of the United States Congress would support Resolution 374, and we were successful. It is said that some people in this world only dream to fight. I know for you, you fight for a dream, a dream of decency and dignity for all of your people. My parents lived through World War II. As a matter of fact, they lost five children during that tragic chapter of world history. And one day I said to my father, how are you able to get through it? How are you able to survive? He said, Joe, I knew that there would be a tomorrow, which would be a better day. Interestingly, in Hebrew, the word for darkness is shachar. The word for dawn is shachar. It's the very same word. Maybe that teaches us that if we're able to get through the darkness of life, if we hold on long enough, if we stand with our friends, then ultimately we will see the dawn of a new day. There is now a new expression in this country during this COVID crisis. We are in this together. Well, this is not just about the COVID crisis. This is about your crisis. And we say to all of you, you and us, we are in this together. So we will see that new day and we will once again show the world that we who belong to different faiths also belong to one human family. May God bless you. May God keep you strong and know that you stay strong and we'll stay strong and together we'll strengthen each other. Thank you very much.